at five. He's perhaps one of the most notorious men in Pittsburgh. Convicted cop killer Richard Poplowski went back in front of a judge today, claiming the defense in his previous trial was inadequate. Lynn Hayes Freeland joins us live now with more on what happened. Lynn. Christine, Richard Poplowski was scheduled to be put to death in just a few weeks, March 3rd to be exact. But now, after a court appearance today, the execution has been put on hold, and he now has two new attorneys. Yeah, let's go, Pence. Convicted cop killer Richard Poplowski did not come across as a man just weeks away from his own execution as he walked into Judge Jeffrey Manning's courtroom Thursday afternoon. Mr. Poplowski, Poplowski had filed some petitions on his own behalf, so the judge needed to make sure today that he either wanted to proceed by himself without a lawyer or whether he was willing to accept court-appointed counsel. With the families of the three Pittsburgh police officers, Pawlowski shot and killed back in April of 2009 looking on, he accepted the court-appointed counsel and received a stay of execution, which had been scheduled for March 3rd. You can't have someone executed while there is a pending appeal, and he still has more appellate, appellate resources. When the officers responded to a domestic dispute call at a home in Stanton Heights. Two years later, he was sentenced to die. Pawlowski wrote and submitted his own appeal earlier this month, seeking post conviction relief. He raises new questions about his legal representation during his trial. We've seen his petition, we've read through it, um, and that's that's what we're going to be spending a lot of time on over the next couple of months uh, of going through all of the issues that he's raised, trying to sort out, okay, what might be meritless, what might have some merit. In now, at this point, the new attorneys will have until May to review that appeal information, figure out how they may want to fine-tune it or tweak it, and then the other side has a chance to respond. So right now, no new date for that execution is being scheduled. Reporting live downtown, I'm Lynn Hayes-Freeland, KDKA-TV News.